Welcome to the first webinar of 2016. This is Murli Sundram, your happiness coach, and I'm welcoming all of you uh, to this wonderful webinar on how chakras can boost your business and health. So that's what this webinar is all about, and this webinar may run approximately for 45 minutes. And uh, I am also recording this webinar just in case due to internet failure or sudden current power failure. If you are unable to watch, don't worry. You will also get to see the recorded version of this webinar. And in this webinar, you can chat with me. You can see me, hear me, but you can't, uh, you can't put your video onto me back. And uh, in this webinar, before I talk to you about what is that I am going to share with you. For some of you know me. Uh, some of you may not know me. Just to give you a brief uh, background about who am I. Uh, my name is uh, Murli Sundram, the author of this book, Chakra Manager, which was one of uh, the best-selling book in Amazon. Ap apart from these books, I have written a couple of other books like Mindfulness Miracle and uh, Hi-Fi Life and What is Not Spirituality. Popularly, I'm also known as the Happiness Coach and I run three businesses successfully. So far in the last uh, one decade, I've helped more than 100,000 professionals, executives, managers, leaders, business owners across the globe uh, in sharing, uh, in bringing more happiness into their life. And I'm also the founder of the Happiness Institute. This is just a brief, uh, about for pe a brief about myself for people who do not know who am I. Now, coming to this webinar, in this webinar, and I'm going to share with you how this knowledge about this chakras, uh, this knowledge, specifically this chakra knowledge has changed my life. In the last one decade, my life has completely turned completely at 360 degrees. Today, I am in a different position because of this particular knowledge and know-how. And I am also in this webinar going to share about, about what are chakras and how it is connected to your business and health. And I am not going to go deeper into this. I am just going to go in a very simplified way so that each and every layman can understand uh, about chakras. Also, I am going to share with you how you can boost your productivity and well-being with your chakras and I'm going to share with you a very a free chakra test with you which all of you can take this test and uh, identify your chakra scores and wh wh which part of your chakra is very active and also I'm going to share with you seven seven dimensions of prosperity I'm going to talk in length about uh, the seven main chakras and how they are connected to the prosperity in life and also I'm going to share with you how to purify and activate your chakras for health and prosperity Last but not the least, the best place where you can uh, get it activated. I am going to share all these things. But before I go into this, a word of caution for people, uh, for people who are highly logical minded and scientific oriented. Uh, some of the elements of this particular webinar may be new to you. Uh, you may not sometimes agree with some of the ideas and concepts which I am going to share with you. Uh, my teacher always told me that I don't know is always the best way to uh, learn more instead of just rejecting an idea just because you have not understood. So my word of caution is if you cannot understand or comprehend, don't worry. Whenever you are getting confused, tell yourself. Fascinating. I am going to learn something new. So with a word of caution. So are you guys ready? But I am going to share with you a beginning, I am going to share with you why uh, this webinar I am doing because of my unique mystical experience uh, which happened in Hemkun Sahib Malias in the year 2015. Uh, one of the participants, Shabari Girishan, who was there with me uh, last year in this trip uh, knows this particular mystical experience. But this one unique experience at this uh, Himalayan area uh, called Hemkun Sahib which is approximately 14,000 feet high. I went to this particular place and absolutely a magical and mystical moment happened uh, when I went over there. You know this place, uh, uh, this, is, this is an amazing place uh, approximately 14,000 feet high. Uh, you have, it's a very tough climb and when you reach at the top and uh, you will see an amazing lake over there called Hemkund Lake uh, which is surrounded by seven peaks, snow glacier peaks and the water drips from this and forms a glaze, uh, forms this lake which is absolutely uh, frozen ice cold if you touch it you will you <laughs> it will freeze that's that's the type of place it is and absolutely it's pristine pure and the look of it is 
absolutely blissful. I went to the group of uh, 10 to 12 of my friends over here and an amazing miracle happened over here when I went there and sat in this in at the end of this lake after taking a bath in this lake. I was in a meditative pose and in my meditation uh, what I saw was a big symbol of Om on the whole lake and uh, for some time I could not understand what it was but still I was allowing that experience to go through me and suddenly a person appeared and uh, he was having a black beard and wearing a saffron clothing he looked at me he smiled at me and he just vanished in a flicker of a second I thought I was I was in an illusion uh, then I forgot this entire moment. I came out of the meditation and there is nearby in the same lake adjacent to that there is a Gurudwara of Sri uh, Guru Gobind Sahib, uh, Guru Gobind uh, temple is there. And after that I went into the temple. For my surprise over there, there lies the picture of Sri Guru Gobind inside the temple. The person whom I saw in my meditation. I came out of it and suddenly uh, I got a lot of interesting ideas streaming inside my head of how you can activate chakra by just taking a dip in this holy water. And then I took some of my friends who came along with me. I initiated them onto this uh, chakra purification and chakra initiation by taking dip in this holy water in a particular way. And uh, let me tell you, life was absolutely different after this magical moment. And this one unique, uh, I, 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 will, I would like to savor this particular moment in my life because uh, even if I think about this, there are goosebumps in my body right now. Uh, this one unique mystical experience compelled me to uh, ensure that I go back again and again and again to this unique mountain where uh, you can activate. I'm going to share with you when I'm going a little later. So if you're interested, you can always join me later. Now, uh, is there anything that will happen if you don't know anything about this chakra? Uh, logically, no. Your life will still continue the same way as you are. If you are going through some tough times, if you are going through health issues, if you are going through financial issues, it will still continue to be the same. But uh, knowing this information of how by activating your chakras, is it possible to enhance your productivity? Is it possible to enhance your business life? Is it possible to uh, enhance your health? Yes, it is possible. So by knowing the information, this particular piece of information, which is, I have not created this information. This information is available uh, from ancient old days and ancient and our masters, grandmasters who lived in these countries have shared this knowledge. And I'm just a tool and instrument using the technology here and with my mystical and magical experience and with my research onto this chakra and just sharing with you my know-how and my personal experience. So whatever I'm going to share with you is my personal experience and you don't have to take it as it is until it becomes part of your experience. Just take in the idea. If you like this idea, take it, experiment it. Uh, if it works, keep it. Otherwise, just dump it. No problem. Something, some other technique will always work for you. Now. Understanding chakras are highly complicated. It is not as easy as uh, it seems. But for the benefit of each and every one of you, I'm going to share my understanding of chakras in a very simple way because I prefer to break down all the complex things into something very simple that even a layman like me can understand. So I'm going to share with you what exactly are these chakras and how these chakras function and how if you understand the knowledge about chakras how you can activate certain points in your chakras thereby you can change your whole life life is absolutely magical the minute you know how to apply the information that i'm going to share with you right now so are you guys ready okay that's nice so let me share with you a very simple way of understanding through the yin yang principle i think many of you would have heard about the yin and yang uh, because you know in, in, uh, in anything you see there are two aspects in anything you see in life one is a surface aspect and one is an interior hidden aspect so let me share with you about what is chakras from this particular yin and yang principle let me take a very simple example of a tree okay now if you look at the tree very closely what you see at the surface level is a, a stem uh, a trunk leaves 
branches, fruits. These are all you see at the surface level. But what you don't see is the hidden aspect which is the roots. You know the surface aspect is because of the light which hits on it and the being in the streaming of light when it hits on the tree you are able to see it. Whereas not even a beam of light hits the root. Even in darker period during uh, dry summer you know the leaves may wither but the roots stay stronger underneath the ground and suddenly once the right time comes the tree again flourishes. So always there is a surface aspect to anything that you see and also a hidden aspect to anything we see. Just because we can't see we cannot, we cannot say that no it can't exist. That's the reason in the beginning I said uh, when you can't understand always say okay that's something new that's coming up I don't know probably I can learn that that's a better attitude to understand this particular subject of chakras now it's it's similar to what electricity is all about I am sure that uh, many do not know what is electricity but still we have learned how to use the benefits of electricity the same power the same electricity can light up your uh, uh, fan, your fridge, your aircon, your computer, laptop, mobile, it can light up anything. But hardly we know what is electricity if you go a little deeper. Now, let me share with you the understanding of these principles uh, by learning something new about creation. Now, this is my understanding of how the whole universe is created. So, if you can, uh, I'm going to share with you in a very simple layman way as if a six year old can understand. And from this we will draw parallels to chakras. Now have you seen uh, a paint brush? Just imagine that you dip a paint brush into a red color paint and take the paint brush and put it on a white wall on this side on your right side and start dragging and create a paint smear without removing your hair. Just keep on dragging the paint smear and you may get one big paint smear. Now as you, can, as you look at the paint smear deeply, you will understand one logic behind that the place where you started the density of the red color paint was higher and as you keep dragging the paint intensity slowly comes down and at a, after a particular point it becomes invisible. Now if you draw the analogy to the whole universe, the whole universe is like this, whole creation is like this one whole lot of uh, uh, paint smear. What you see is energy manifested into uh, different forms over here and at the left end of the spectrum where the dark paint is there, they are the grosser energy where the energy becomes very gross matter like minerals and stone and as you move towards the right side, as you move towards the other side of the wall, uh, the density slowly reduces and you can see it that's more like the plant form where the little subtle in energy and as you go a little down onto the on, on, on the right side you can see it's more of the animals which we, which can sense which can feel the little subtle in uh, energy uh, in the density and the move on towards the other end towards the next part of the spectrum will be other uh, human beings which are much more subtle they are they're not as gross as the stone or minerals or plant or animals, they are little more subtler and as you keep dragging and dragging they suddenly become invisible. So it's the invisible becoming the visible, it's, it's uh, the energy becoming the matter. Now if you look very deeply the surface aspect what we see is minerals, plants and animals and human beings which you can see, which you can feel, which you can touch with your sensory perception. But what you don't see is there is a hidden energy system and there is an amazing energy flow that flows from that the energy which uh, becomes matter. Now I'm going to share with you how that happens, okay? And it's a very simple layman way in which if you can understand this is very easy. Now you know the whole universe is made of one giant ball of energy and this universal energy enters into the human being through, it said through the modula oblongata and, uh, and then it manifests into matter. Now before we go on to deeper into this, uh, like how you have a three phase electricity, you know in your house you may use three phase electricity, this machine works on a four phase electricity, the, the, the energy, the electric energy 
that comes through the medulla oblongata functions into this human machine through a four phase channel we can say. Uh, the first one which we all can understand the four phase uh, part of this dimension of this machine is the body which all of you can see and the second dimension is your mind and the third dimension is the emotions and the fourth dimension uh, is your life energy. Now it's these four four phase of electricity can be connected as an analogy to a four wheels of your car. You know if all the four wheels are balanced, equal, harmonious, peaceful, then the car can run in a smooth way and it can take you wherever you are. But looking at the way in which uh, the whole world is progressing, uh, looks like many of us are inflating only one wheel or one tire of the car. If you look at the current education system, it is continuously teaching you to hone the mental part of uh, the human machine and that is the reason you see technological marvel happening and that is the reason why we are able to talk through this webinar that there is a technological marvel happening that I am sitting in my house and you are sitting in your workplace or your house and attending this webinar. So this mental energy increases, enhance the technological marvel. So technologically we are way ahead compared to our ancestors. I hope you will accept. But look at very deeply, are we the most healthiest among uh, the whole race of humanity compared to our father, grandfather? No. Are we really happy than our grandfather and father? No. Because current education system is sharpening only the mental energy within us. And if just boosting or just uh, increasing the energy at the mental level alone will not suffice. So what we need is uh, balancing of all the four. And for balancing all the four we need to understand how this energy gets inside this machine and how it functions unanimously so that all of us can see, feel, hear, have desires, have feeling, run business and want to make money and at the same time we want to have the best of our health. Let's understand how all these things happen. But uh, to understand this, I'm going to share with you a very simple video, uh, uh, a video, an animated video of the whole uh, creation process of uh, how this energy gets inside this machine and we will discuss a little deeper just a three minute video I'm going to share with you if you have a speaker just switch on the speaker so that you can watch this video from the great spiral galaxies thousands of light years across to the trillions of atoms swirling in a grain of sand the universe is made from spinning wheels of energy spinning wheels of stardust giving birth to life. Wheels upon wheels spinning through space solidifying into form rotating on an axis orbiting the sun revolving and evolving through time the one in the many, giving birth to life. With a single white moon, our shining blue planet spins in space, a planet made of earth and water and fire and air, a planet of sound and light and beauty and the consciousness of life. An intricate web woven with exquisite balance. This blessed earth which is our home is the great wheel from which our life arises. Connecting through our bodies as we connect to each other and to the endless web of life that is seeking to become conscious. Aligned along a central channel called the Sushumna, the seven chakras run from base to crown, generating the patterns of the auric field. Their spinning comes from the intersection of two basic currents, 
one from above and one from below. As these currents pass between the chakras, the centers spin like gears that take us on a journey through life. Together, these seven chakras describe a profound formula for wholeness and a template for transformation. So did you guys uh, enjoy the video? Say yes. Okay. Now this is a very short clipped video from uh, an amazing uh, movie from Anodia Judith. Uh, the name of the movie is called uh, The Illuminated Chakra. It's a very lengthy video for the benefit of you. I've just shortened the whole thing. And maybe you can just do it on you, YouTube. You can always get this particular video where you can learn more about this particular video now you know in this video i think you would have seen how energy flows through various uh, uh, through channels okay let's talk a little deeper about what she was talking about a chakra chakra is nothing but a wheel like vortices or the energy that comes into the medulla oblongata and the energy has to become matter and this energy has to get stored in a particular place in this machine like how naively lignite produces the electricity and through transformers and through uh, units, the uh, electric, electrical units, the, through transformers and through wires and lines it reaches your house. The same way an unknown electrical energy or the universal energy enters into this machine and gets stored in specific areas of the human body called chakras. Now how many chakras are there? There are different answers for this question different answers are there in the ancient literature but majority of them talk about seven chakras and how the chakras are or the surface aspect the whole energy system or the prana system or the life energy flows through certain energy channels and they are called as the nadis Though there are many, many nadis are there, but many of the ancient scriptures talks about 72,000 nadis are the energy channels through which these energies flow throughout the body and these, uh, uh, and these, uh, yeah, pranic healing says 11 chakras and uh, there are uh, many, many varieties of uh, uh, texts available on this, but predominantly everybody talks about the top seven chakras only. So I am going to share with you only the top seven chakras for, for simplifying the whole knowledge. People who are interested to do more more, you can always do your own analysis and research. You can go deeper into uh, science of Reiki or Pranic healing where they teach you more in depth about how uh, you can activate the chakra. So, but in this webinar we are going to focus on uh, the aspect of chakra with respect to the business and also with respect to health. Now, you know, these chakras which you are talking about, many have asked me, can I see chakra? Now, this is many question asked by many uh, during my research because I did many, uh, I did a very interesting research and test with many of the people and many of them asked, can I see chakra? Uh, the answer is a no, you can't physically see uh, because this is not on the physical body. It is on your astral body, on your psychic body, I can say. But you know there is an amazing Japanese scientist by name Hiroshi Motoyama. 
he is a pioneer in this chakra in scientific experiments and he did experiments using some of the machines you see on the screen and he was able to uh, measure the efficacy or potential of the electricity produced in these chakra points and today uh, acupuncture uh, talks a lot and the modern medicine there is a huge connection between uh, the position of chakras and the glands and the neuronal plexus uh, today all are interconnected it's like uh, I'll share with you how four blind men look at an elephant from different points of view. So a doctor, a yogi, a healer, they are all talking the same thing but only the semantics are changing. But yes, it is possible today that there are technology uh, to uh, measure the potential of chakra. And each and every chakra are nothing but a ball of light and ener electrical energy and obviously electrical energy produces electricity, energy and radiation comes out of this electromagnetic machine so this is an electromagnetic machine and there are technology available now and as the radiation emits out it emits in a form of a light and that forms an aura outside you and now there are biofeedback machines available uh, to check your aura to scan your aura let me show with you uh, one of my uh, aura photograph which I took in 2011 and before I could even smile the fellow took snap of my picture and this is my aura many many years ago not now this is four and a half years before I took this particular picture and you can see uh, there is a light around me and uh, even if uh, you also take an aura photograph you will see that there are there are certain points which will be very bright uh, which, which is the dominant uh, chakra that's where the maximum emi emission is happening and it's possible so you can just find out uh, the local aura uh, reader or, or the person who takes the aura photography today we have Kirlian photography available biofeedback mechanisms machines available to scan your aura to check which part of your chakras are blocked which part of your chakras are free flowing it's all possible in today's technology so uh, this is what I shared with you uh, Today's technology, okay, Murli, uh, he wants me to repeat, with the help of today's technology, it's possible for us to uh, scan the aura with the biofeedback machines available and uh, instant reports are possible. It's Kirlian photography, Kirlian photography or the aura uh, biofeedback machines. You just do a Google search, you will find out. There are specialists available in this particular uh, field who have the ability to... Uh, uh, take your aura photograph and give you a detailed report. My detailed report was more than 85 pages and it was brilliant. And uh, as I told you, the chakra perception varies from person to person. For example, it's like uh, if you look through a binocular on a man, a man looks very large. And if you look through a normal, pa normal vision, he looks the usual size. And if the same person is looked through an x-ray, we see a skeleton. And if you look through a gastroscope, we see inside of the stomach. So the perception of the chakras vary. For example, a yogi describe chakra in a spiritual and a symbolic way. Whereas a surgeon describes this particular point as a bunch of nerve fibers making up plexuses which are connected to glands in the body. And a clairvoyant describes this as an energy manifestation or as light. So it's just the perception is different. That's all. So all are seeing the same, it's only the semantics differ. So you may have, would have got some interesting knowledge, piece of information about this, but whatever you, all, whatever you know about it is all correct and whatever you don't know about also is correct because all of them are talking about the same subject but from different viewpoints. Now in a nutshell if you ask me simplified. Uh, chakras are the energy centers or the centers of the body's energy system. There are uh, seven major chakras which are called as Mooladhara Chakra, Swadhisthana Chakra, Manipura Chakra, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Anya and Sahasrara Chakra. These are the main seven but there are innumerable numbers are there. And uh, I am going to talk only about these seven and how these seven are connected to the human needs and also to the business needs. So let's quickly talk about uh, the chakra and the human needs. Now if you look a little deeply, uh, I'm going to share with you a very simple uh, picture over here and uh, the energy for uh, 
for the human need it's based on the maslow's theory of hierarchy it looks always the food clothing shelter comes first to any human being if you de- if you deny that uh, he only wants that he doesn't want anything other than food clothing shelter so if you look very deeply the human needs uh, you have to read from the bottom to above uh, the first comes the need for safety survival sustenance and grounding on the material world that's the first step of a human need and once that is satisfied he moves on to the next plane of dimension which is more about enjoyment that is emotional enjoyment relationship enjoyment and and sexuality creativity empathy beauty all these things move to the next level of dimension and once and as you go higher up on the energy level towards on the maslow theory of hierarchy the next comes the drive for power the will the energy self esteem control order we can call this as the center of manipura or the power chakra we can say and the fourth one as you move up is all about love the heart chakra the annahatta uh, which is all about love and understanding human beings trust uh, having hope uh, having lots of compassion these are the people if this chakra is very active these are the people where they are always working towards a social cause they feel compassion for anything and everything even if a dog get hurt they really feel sorry for it you can see tears in their eyes and uh, the next as you go up on the human needs chain is all about expression at the vishuddhi chakra which is the throat level chakra and with this is responsible for communication expression of our thoughts and ideas we want others to know what we what we have learned we want to share our knowledge and wisdom that's called the uh, vishuddhi chakra and uh, the next one comes is the uh, anya chakra between your eyebrow center which is the seat of intuition uh, the ability to uh, fulfill potential and manifest wisdom and you go a little higher or the anya chakra is also called as the clarity center if this area is very active you are crystal clear on what you want in life and going higher up is the wholeness or the sahasrara which is above the head or the crown of the chakra where it's all about connecting uh, oneness with the universal energy because the universal energy it it, it is manifesting inside you as a human body but are you the body no we are a being in the human form and this universal energy uh, is in this form of uh, this particular body is, is in this particular machine so sahasrara chakra is all about uh, uh, making you to understand the oneness that myself and the universe and energy both are same every spiritual text and every religious leaders across the globe uh, at different points have come back and said that we are uh, the part of the whole and the whole is the part so it's it's like jivatma and paramatma is all the same so uh, this is all about chakras and human needs let me draw a parallel to the same to if you are into business or a working atmosphere let me share with you how these things work in line with the organizational needs also because you know if you are a businessman a business is nothing but you have a there is a problem in the society and uh, we solve that that's all so any businessman and any entrepreneur is nothing but a problem solver so if you are into business or if you are not into business also you are always impacted by business around you because all of us are involved into this economical uh, era right now and whether you like it or not we need money for anything and everything so obviously business comes into play in this money making game in this material world so let me quickly share with you how the organization needs are connected to the chakra if you look a little deeper organization vision you look uh, for human needs you look from bottom to up and for organization needs you to, you have to do a top to bottom approach you know you look at any business it starts with an idea or a concept only beginning because you got a fantastic idea because you were able to perceive a problem in the society and you are able to uh, get an amazing idea as a solution so it comes with the wholeness it means you come with the whole idea and uh, the idea is now broken down to business strategy into tactics goals and plans we can call this as the clarity part of it and you know once this clarity and vision and mission is set you know it has to be expressed to the whole team or or to the customers or your stakeholders or your shareholders or your investors about the whole story so it means you need to express you need to communicate 
Do you know that the number one reason for business failures? It's because of lack of communication. It's the lack of ability to talk and sell. That's the reason of many business failures. This is where many companies get stuck. You know, once you have a story around you, then you start hiring people and form teams and uh, form teams and build a solid relationship among the team members. And we have different departments and department heads. And once you form the head comes, then you have to decentralize your power and obviously comes uh, effectiveness, control and along with the power comes the order and rationality and drive to push the teammates to get things done. So then you, uh, once you have the set of people, you have set of process and systems and you have delegated control and power, then you have enough people who work beautifully, put their creativity and ideas and they implement the whole process and system. You need a team of people to implement the people at the shop floor level, the operations level. You know, these people uh, have to apply their creativity, creative natural talents to put things in action. And at the same time, at the end comes the day-to-day -day operations for survival and sustenance in the market. So I'm just, I'm just, this is a very broad topic to talk about, but I'm quickly in this webinar, I'm just sharing with you how a business and human need and the chakras, the universal energies, they all connected uh, to each other. Now, let me quickly share with you these seven chakras. You are hearing a lot about chakras for the last uh, uh, 35 minutes or so. So, let me quickly share with you. There are seven chakras. Are they look at the point of a chakra. This is Muladhara chakra. The location of the Muladhara chakra is the coccyx, the end of the skeleton, uh, spinal column at the perineum. Uh, the, each and every chakra has a color, has a shape, has a sound as a mantra we are not going to go deeper into this and just going to share with you in a very quick way and i have written a lot about these things in my book called chakra manager if you're interested you can buy this book and uh, uh, read this book and uh, each and every chakra as i told you uh, it is connected to a glance through neuronal plexus and nervous system and the psychological function of muladhara chakra is all about survival and quickly going through the swadhisthana chakra which is the second level chakra which is uh, uh, at the sacral plexus, it is at the genital area of your human body. Uh, there is a unique color for this particular chakra, orange in color. And you know the Panchabuddhas are also directly connected because the energy, universal energy becomes matter and it has to go through in the form of uh, the five elements, the Panchabuddhas. And obviously each and every chakra are connected to one particular uh, uh, element for example the muladhara chakra we spoke a little bit before uh, the element was earth and here the element is water and endocrine glands that are connected are the gonads and the psychological function is desire now manipura chakra is all about uh, the the place just uh, below the belly button your navel center which is the seat of power confidence it's it's the fire uh, you know fire in the belly have you heard about this term called fire in the belly and if you have the fire in the belly you have the ability to power and conquer and uh, you know this is the seat of will for uh, people and if you are at a workplace where uh, your confidence level is low it's probably because this chakra is blocked or the energy levels are not flowing appropriately over here and the next comes the anahata chakra which is called the heart chakra the green color chakra uh, which is corresponding to the air and the connecting gland is the thymus organ and this place is filled with lots and lots of love. You know whenever you want to express love the hand goes to the heart only and even when you are upset and emotionally down you feel heaviness in the heart area only. And uh, you go a little bit up is the Vishuddhi chakra which is called the throat chakra uh, which is blue in color and this corresponds to the sound element of the Panchabuddhas and the thyroid gland is connected and as you know this is the gland of this is the chakra of expression and communication and anya chakra is at the eyebrow center which is indigo in color and the element is light over here and the pituitary glands are activated and it is a seat of intuition and sahasrara which is the at the top the crown of the head and uh, this is the chakra and the element here is thought and uh, the gland here is the pineal gland and cognition is the psychological function. I am not going to go deeper into this because there are uh, enough uh, textbooks available and uh, you know Googleshwara is there, that's, that's the modern name of Google. You can just Google it, you will get all this information. What I am going to share with you is how 
uh, you can learn more about these chakras and I have also designed a particular chakra test also available and uh, you can also take this test for free just to know which chakra is active, which chakra is not active, which chakra is uh, uh, blocked, where energy flows high, low. It is easy for you to understand because the chakras are the energy center of the body and these chakras move the nervous system, move the physiology. So the psycho and physio are interconnected and thereby your behavior, your trait, your characteristics and each and every function of your life is determined by specific nodal points in your body called chakras. So they determine who you are. So it's always better to learn more about this and uh, put them into best use. So what you can do now is quickly you can take this chakra test which is absolutely free and you can visit this particular website called chakras.gr8.com a short form of great. When you go to this website you just download uh, sign in your name and mobile uh, email id and you will get an uh, email alert from myself asking you to confirm your email. Once you click the confirm email subscription you will uh, you will get into another page where you can download this chakra test. Now this chakra test has 72 questions are there. You know in the corporate world if you are in the corporate world you would have uh, gone through different varieties of assessment tests like uh, uh, MBTI, DISC profile, 16 PF. There are multiple varieties of tests are there and if you are a coach like me or a trainer like me uh, you know all these tests when people take these tests 50 percent are life scale. Okay. But here my request to you is uh, 72 questions, these questions is a self assessment. Uh, be honest with your answers when you are answering this question. There are no right or wrong answer to any of these questions. So be honest, be truthful and when you attend all the 72 questions, it may take 15 to 20 minutes of your time. When you submit the bar, when you, when you complete the test, you will get to see some scores like this where uh, which chakras are uh, high energy, which chakras are low energy. Be honest, be truthful, do not lie and always answer what is right now happening in your life and not what should happen. Generally that is what people end up in making the mistake. So when you finish this test you will get to uh, see these scores over here. Now what I have done, done done in my book is, in my book I have dealt a, I have written a lot in my book Chakra Manager. Uh, where I have shared a lot about in this book, this book which you are seeing on the screen called Chakra Manager which is sometime before best selling book uh, beyond the book secret in Kindle Amazon. In this book I'm, I have spoken in length about the basics of chakras. But the interesting part about this book is uh, uh, the interpretation of the scores that you get. Uh, by, just by doing the test you will know which part of your chakras are active. But when you go through the book, I have given some various interpretations of uh, given some point systems. Based on the point systems, you will know uh, whether the activation is high or uh, moderate or below normal. So you will know able to understand, okay, if the chakras are active, what are the strength characteristics or traits that I see in myself? If the energy levels are very low, what are the deficiency characteristics of these chakras? And also I have shared with you if a chakra is deficient, energy levels are deficient, I have shared with you how way forward various tips and techniques of how you can activate the chakra. There are uh, more than 200 to 300 techniques I have shared with you of how you can activate the chakra in a very simple way. Uh, you can pick and choose which works for you. The reason why I have shared different varieties is uh, one may work, one may not work, only you have to experiment. Only when you experiment with myself you will know. I can just tell you, uh, sometimes it may not work also. It's better you take one, apply it and see whether you feel a change within yourself. If it works, continue to do that. If it doesn't work, just dump it. Also shared with you some daily affirmations for each chakra. So if you want to activate a Muladhara Chakra, what is the affirmation? If you want to activate a Sahasrara Chakra, what is the affirmation that you have to tell? Because the language also has a huge uh, effect on the neuronal pattern in your machine. And at the end I have also shared with you a very simple Chakra Meditation which uh, you can do it on your own. If you have not bought this book, you can always go to uh, chakramanager.com and if you click it you will go to the Amazon Kindle, it's an instant download. This is not a physical book, uh, this is an electronic book, it means uh, 
uh, you can just download it and read it in the kindle it's a fast read uh, it's a very short book and it's very easy for you to comprehend so you can just quickly go to chakramanager.com and download uh, this particular ebook and uh, buying it uh, from uh, kindle it's just 200 rupees only uh, and also uh, i shared with you the one of the best place in the beginning uh, the best place to activate chakra this is the place which i love in my life which is nothing but our hemkund sahib which is 14000 feet high and if you are someone who are who is very very serious in the subject called chakra and you are really really serious to uh, take your energy levels to the uh, to the higher level or you are on a spiritual ascension mode uh, it's high time that you visit this particular place uh, this is an amazing center of chakra purification and chakra sadhana chakra activation so don't miss this location and uh, this there is an amazing lake over there uh, ice cold freezing absolutely freezing water over there uh, there are seven peaks corresponding to seven chakras and uh, the snow glaciers become the lake over there and you have to take a dip in the water you can see some of my participants were taking a holy dip in this water after doing little bit of process so are you ready to take the holy dip in this ice cold frozen water if you are ready for this chakra sadhana if you are ready for purifying uh, the chakras and thereby you can become more productive thereby you can heal some of uh, the negative energies in your mission in your body i would request you to come and join me uh, in this particular uh, journey and uh, before we go on to details about the journey here is a participant feedback of the previous year's journey with me, Biju Chandran, who is an auditor, and for him, he says that this is the most remarkable journey in his life and the blissful experience uh, which he has never experienced in that particular lake. And I also have uh, a feedback from Shabari Girisan, who came with his whole family, his wife and 10 year old kid, and uh, he just sh shared that uh, it's a soulful experience to meditate and take a dip, take a bath in this particular uh, Hemkun Sahib and uh, he recommends uh, this particular uh, journey to everyone if you have not been there so if you are if you are new to this uh, and if you are very eager to go to this particular location uh, let me invite you to this amazing journey an adventurous and spiritual journey to this particular place called hemkund lake 14000 feet high in the himalayas i am going there with a bunch of my friends uh, the date is already scheduled from july 23rd to 31st 2016 july 23rd we start from chennai and we reach delhi and uh, the whole trip starts from uh, either the delhi airport or you can reach haridwar directly now the details you can uh, get it from me if you are really really interested but i'm not only just going to uh, this particular place actually we are going to haridwar first where we are going to uh, witness the ganga aarti over there it's an amazing spectacular scene over there you, you have to be there at exactly at 6 pm to watch the mighty ganga flow and the puja that they do and the aarti they take it's a blissful experience you should visit that and i'm also going for uh, the valley of flowers uh, actually i went to valley of flowers only but then i realized that my calling was not to valley of flowers but to hemkund when i went to hemkund lake and when i meditated and had the magical and mystical experience so i have just clubbed all these things together so that it's just not hemkund we go to Haridwar, we visit Valley of Flowers, which is the place of angels and fairies we, we, they live. It's an 87 square kilometer uh, world heritage center where only these places, Valley of Flowers and Hemkund Sagar, are accessible to human beings only for three months in a year. Be, approximately between June 2015 to, sorry, June, between June of every year to September of every year. Otherwise, they, they, these areas cannot be accessed. We are also going to Badrinath and also we are going to Mana, the last Indian village. And at the same time, I'm also uh, going to Ali, uh, which is also another peak that we will be doing trekking. So this is basically an adventurous journey, a mindful journey and a spiritual journey. Do you need to be fit for this journey? Uh, if you ask me, if you can uh, walk for 30 minutes every day, you are perfectly fit. It's not a very difficult trek. It's a moderate trek. Uh, if you are unable to walk, don't worry. Ponies are available to take you. Uh, you have uh, porters to carry you so do not worry but the the fun part is in trekking uh, but pony ride is also very good you can experience both of it so the last date for registration 
because the the number of hotels there at the top of the mountain is very very less so we need to do a lot of advanced booking so the last date for registration is 5th february 2016 if you guys are interested uh, you can uh, shoot an email to me at moodly at happinesscoach.co.in or you can register at himalayas.gra.com and i will share with you more information the whole itinerary plan how much it's going to cost you it's not going to cost you much it's it's economical and it is uh, once in a lifetime experience i will always say and uh, yeah, don't rem- don't forget you are at the end of we are at the end of the webinar don't forget to download the chakra test it's very very critical and important for you to know which part of your chakras are active be honest and truthful you can download at chakras.gr8.com and uh, you can buy the book if you would like to buy my book you can buy it, uh, by going to chakramanager.com and if you're interested for the re- himalaya trip just register at himalayas.gr8.com so thereby i can share with you more information about this uh, trip i hope in the last one hour of our discussion it was uh, useful and fruitful for you i believe uh, the new information that you have learned today would add little bit of benefit and value into your life Uh, please do visit my website happinesscoach.co.in. You can also follow me in my facebook.com/happinesscoachmurli, where I post every day one happiness tip. And uh, if you are not part of my happiness course, please do sign up for the free happiness email course, where uh, I share one happiness lesson a day. And I hope that this webinar was useful. Uh, if it is useful, please do type in a uh, few words of encouragement over there, so that I can continue to. provide this valuable uh, service to humanity free of cost obviously yes and uh, the recorded version will be available and i will share with you shortly so uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining me in this uh, uh, webinar on how chakras can boost your uh, productivity and health and uh, thank you very much for joining if you have any questions and doubts you can always shoot an email to uh, murli at happiness coach.co.in so that's my email id you can always uh, shoot an email if you have any queries and questions and uh, i look forward you to join me uh, for the himalayan trip and please do download the book and uh, share your feedback with me so thank you very much uh, and officially the webinar comes to a close thank you very much this is morley sundrum your happiness coach thank you and good night